Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Spearman's rank correlation with type. That is, when ranks are not given, when marks are repeated, how you have to rank it. Detaily, we can see in this part C video. In my part A and part B video, I have given a Spearman's rank correlation when ranks are given directly and Spearman's rank correlation when ranks are not given directly and marks are given without repetition. If you have not watched those videos, I have given the link in description box, suggested end card or you can watch our channel playlist BSc Nursing Research and Statistics. So this is my part C video as I have told. It is taken from unit 7. This video will be useful for BSc Nursing, Post Basic BSc Nursing as well as students who are studying MSc Nursing and Statistics. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. So, Spearman's rank correlation with tie or repetition of ranks. So, when ranks are repeated or when marks are repeated, how you have to rank them so that i will be explaining in this video repeated ranks when two or more items have equal values that is a tie it is difficult to give ranks to them in such cases the items are given the average of the rank they would have received for example think that two students have scored the same marks how you will be giving ranking to them when it comes to competitive exams and all how they are giving ranking to those students that you will be seeing in this video so in such cases the items are given the average of the ranks they would have received for example if two individuals are placed in the eighth place uh, suppose they have scored same mark so they have to be given eighth place so eighth place and ninth place uh, should be given the same rank in such case what you have to do 8 plus 9 divided by 2 17 divided by 2 is 8.5 so in between 8 and 9 what is the midpoint 8.5 in this way also you can take but when uh, too much times the ranks are repeated so what you have to do you have to find the average so 8 plus 9 divided by 2 so two times it is repeated so 8.5 so you have to give rank 8.5 for rank 8 and for rank 9 also so the next successive rank will be rank 10 in such a case if three ranks are repeated for example 8th place 9th place 10th place the same ranks are repeated means how you will be giving ranking um, 8 9 10 what is the midpoint 9 or you can do it in this way 8 plus 9 plus 10 27 divided by 3 3 times no so divided by 3 so which is equal to 9 so or you can write 8 9 10 the midpoint is uh, 9 in this way also you can take so 9 is the uh, rank what you have to given for place 8 and place 9 and place 10 so till 10 ranks have been covered 8 9 10 have been covered you have given 9 for all these three and the next successive rank is 11 so in this case a different formula is used when there is more than one item having the same value so rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into sigma d square plus 1 by 12 m1 cube minus m2 m1 plus 1 by 12 into m2 cube minus m2 plus so on they have given no so that so on means 1 by 12 uh, into m3 cube minus m3 plus 1 by 12 into m4 cube minus m4 like that it goes on divided by n into n square minus 1 what is this m1 m2 m3 m4 to uh, m i th rank what it is number of times the rank has been repeated okay so next is uh, compute the rank correlation for the following data of the marks obtained by 8 students in commerce and mathematics. So max in commerce can be taken as x and max in, uh, marks in mathematics can be taken as y. So marks in commerce they have given 15, 20, 28, 12, 40, 60, 20, 80 and marks in mathematics 40, 30, 50, 30, 20, 10, 30 60 so this and all you can write in x column and y column so 15 20 28 12 40 60 20 80 you have given in x column and in y column 40 30 50 30 20 10 30 and 60 you have given in y column as given in the question so here what now i have marked some things in red don't get confused 
20 is repeated 2 times in x and 30 is repeated 3 times in y. So, I have given the red color for those things. So, first we will rank x. x the highest mark is 80. So, I have given rank of x 1. First rank for 80 marks. Next highest mark is 60. So, I have given second rank for 60. Next highest mark in x is 40. So, I have given a third rank for this thing next highest mark is 28 so i have given fourth rank for 28 next highest mark is 20 which is repeated twice so fifth rank sixth rank is 20 so you cannot give because same mark no you cannot give five six so instead of that you have to give average so here five plus 6 is 11 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 or you can tell in between 5 and 6 what is the mid number 5.5 so in this way also you can take it off so in uh, for the fifth place and sixth place what you have to give for the fifth place you have to give 5.5 similarly for the sixth place also you have to give 5.5 rank so next now fifth place sixth place over next place is what seventh place next highest mark is 15 so 7 you have given for 15 and last mark is 12 so you have given eighth place for 12 so in this way you have given ranking for x next you have to give ranking for y so here the first rank is uh, uh, 60 so since 60 is the highest mark you are giving first rank to 60 next highest mark is 50 so you are giving second rank to 50 next highest mark is 40 so you are giving third rank to 40 next highest to mark okay is what 30 30 is repeated how many times yes 30 is repeated three times so uh, fourth place fifth place sixth place is uh, um, 30 fourth place fifth place uh, sixth place fourth fifth sixth what is the mid value five or you can write in this way also 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus uh, 6, 15. 15 divided by 3 is also 5. In this way also you can find the mid value for giving the rank up. So for 4th place you give 5th rank. For 5th place also you give 5th rank. And for 6th place also you give 5th rank up. Okay. So now 4, 5, 6 is over. Next mark is what? Next rank is 7. So next highest mark is uh, 20 so you are giving 7th rank for 20 next highest mark last mark is 10 so you are giving 8th place for last mark so in this way you have found out r of x and r of y next what you have to do yes you have to subtract r of x plus r, r of x minus r of y so 7 minus 3 is what 4 5.5 minus 5.5 is 0.5 4 minus 2 is 2. 8 minus 5 is 3. 3 minus 7 is minus 4. 2 minus 8 is minus 6. 5 minus 5 is 0.5. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, in this way you have found out R of X minus R of Y. Now, what you have to find? You have to find D square. So, square all the D values. 4 into 4 is 16. 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. 2 into 4 is 8. Uh, sorry, 2 into 2 is 4. 2 square is 4. 3 square, 3 into 3 is 9. Minus 4 into minus 4 is plus 16. Minus 6 into minus 6 is plus 36. 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. 0 square, 0 into 0 is 0. So now add all the d square values. So once you are adding all the d square values, 16 plus 0 0.25 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 36 plus 0 0.25 plus 0, what you will be getting? 81.5. What is this 81.5? This 81.5 is your sigma d square. So your sigma d square is what? 81.5. Now you have to substitute in the formula rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into sigma d1 square divided by 1 by 12 m1 cube minus m1 
plus 1 by 12 into m2 cube minus m2 and so on divided by n into n square minus 1. See how you have to find out this m1 and m2. See m1 okay go back to your tabular column so 20 rank how much time it is repeated two times it is repeated so your m1 is 2 okay next repetition of ranks how much see 30 30 how much times it is repeated yes 30 is repeated three times so 30 is repeated how much three times so m2 is uh, m2 is 30 sorry 30 is repeated 3 times so m2 is 3 ok so m1 is 20 is repeated 2 times so this rank has been repeated 2 times so 1 and 2 so m1 is what m1 is 2 next 30 next repeated mark is 30 how which is repeated how many times 3 times it is repeated so you can take as what m2 is 3 any other uh, ranks have been repeated or marks no nothing has been repeated so you have to consider in this way okay so you are m1 you are m2 so you can stop with m1 and m2 so now next what you have to do substitute the values in the formula already we have found out sigma d1 square what is sigma d1 square yes 81.5 we have already found out so substitute in the formula rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into 81.5 plus 1 by 12 what is m1 i told 2 2 cube minus 2 plus 1 by 12 3 cube that is m2 is 3 na so because 30 is repeated 3 times no so 3 cube minus 3 divided by n n how much n is 8 values they have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 values they have given so you are n is what n is 8 8 into 8 square minus 1 okay so uh, let's see the thing somewhat detaily see 8 into 8 square minus 1 see now you can have p is equal to 1 minus 6 into 81.5 plus 1 by 12 into 2 cube minus 2 plus 1 by 12 into 3 cube minus 3 divided by 8 into 8 square minus 1. So, 1 minus 6 into 81.5 plus 1 by 12. 2 cube is how much? 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. So, 2 cube is 8. 8 minus 2 plus 1 by 12 into 3 cube how much 3 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 9 9 into 3 27 27 minus 3 divided by 8 into 8 square how much yes 64 minus 1 so 1 minus 6 into 81.5 plus 1 by 12 into 6 plus 1 by 12 into 24 8 minus 2 is 6 so 1 by 12 into 6 plus 1 by 12 27 minus 3 is 24 so divided by 8 into 64 minus 1 is 63 next is 1 minus 6 into 81.5 plus 1 by 1 by 12 uh, 6 divided by 12 how much yes 6 divided by 12 is 1 by 2 okay 1 by 2 6 divided by 12 is 1 by 2 next is 24 divided by 12 is 2 okay so we know 1 by 2 is nothing but 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 so 1 minus 6 into 81.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 2 divided by 504 so 1 minus 6 into 81.5 plus 0 0.5 is 82 82 plus 2 is 84 so 6 into 84 divided by 504 so 1 minus 504 divided by 504 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so your rho is equal to 0 so your rho is 0 that is 1 minus 1 is 0 See here that only they have given it in a simplified form. So the steps I have given in this uh, slide. Hope this video is clear for you all. 
so before uh, winding up let me say till since it comes the value comes zero so it clearly shows that there is no correlation zero correlation means that there is no correlation between the marks obtained by the students in commerce as well as in mathematics hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos as well as statistic related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel